Now then, uh, sticking with the trains chaos, uh, Tack Up Davis here. Hello, sir. Afternoon. Um, you're you're in a, a, a very flamey shirt today. It's got flames on it. Yes. Why has it got flames on it? Uh, it it's a representation of our rage off. <laughs> We're on very fire. Good. We're on fire with our rage off. Well, thank you to each and every person who's tuning in. Really appreciate it. Now, sheep are causing trains chaos. We're talking about farmers and we're talking about trains uh, problems. And the two are together because commuters uh, face delays after a railway line was blocked by a flock of sheep. Where yes. was this? 120 sheep escaped from a field onto a railway line earlier in the week and caused utter chaos on the line in a, in a delightful place called Wire Piddle in Worcestershire. <laughs> Wire Piddle in Worcestershire. Yes. Um, one train passenger said it's a better excuse than leaves on the line. Indeed it Sheep is. Sheep on the line. Sheep on the line, well, 120 of them. Well, there we are. So, um, listen, thank you, Dave. Now it's time for Cat of the Week. It's Cardi Piggy's Cat of the Week. Tech up, Dave. Who is the Cat of the Week? We've gone biscuit themed again. Have we? It's Oreo this week. <laughs> yes. Oreo looks good enough to eat. Uh, we'll see a picture of Oreo on the screen in just a second. A black and white cat. Yes. Um, I once had a, uh, well, I lived in a house and there was a cat called Oreo. It was a beautiful black cat, actually. But this is black black and white, nominated like a, by Mum like Ruby Redhead. One of the uh, infamous biscuits, yes. Yes, indeed. Uh, 11 year old rescue cat is Oreo, uh, and he sends out his best wishes to us. Well, thank you very much indeed to nice. Ruby Redhead, who has uh, sent in that picture. Of Oreo. We have some sad news this week as well yes. because uh, Brad Charteris has been in touch uh, with a picture of Daisy, uh, which we can show on the screen in a second. Daisy sadly lost her uh, life at the age of 17 just a couple of months ago. We think she would make a fine cat of the week. So thank you, Brad uh, Charteris, there, who uh, had a little picture of Daisy sending in there. It looks like a beautiful cat. And 17 is not a bad age for a cat. 17 is a good age That's for a, a cat, good age. Isn't it? That's a good yes. age. Um, we know, of course, there are cat cafes. Yes. Uh, where there are some in London, actually, as well. We need we to go. go to one. I think that yeah, would be I, hilarious. I'm not sure what I think, Dave, to be honest. I'm just, as long as the cats are very well cared for, but they should, I don't know if people should be exhibited. I'm not, I'm just not sure. I once went to one, but you've never been to one. I've never been to one. Well, maybe we should go. Um, I know that, that the welfare of cats, and sometimes they involve charities like Cats Protection and so on, but there's a cafe in Tokyo. Maybe uh, we could go to this one. Do you reckon the budget would stretch? I, I, I think we'll talk, to, we'll talk to weekend editor Phil Dave yes. about the budget for us going to a cafe in Tokyo uh, where you don't uh, cuddle cats. There's another no. animal. It's called the My Pig Cafe. Uh, and it's becoming very fashionable. There's ten of these in, in Tokyo now uh, where you cuddle micro pigs. Puddle for, micro pigs. Yes. They don't get bigger than a corgi. Uh, you ch charge uh, 2,200 yen, which is 12 pounds, for the first 30 minutes in the company of the pigs. Each yes. pig is unique. Each one has a, his or her own personality. One may be strong-headed, the other may be gentle. Do you fancy like cats. Do you fancy cuddling a pig? Uh, no. <laughs> Definitely not. Well, there we are. The question is, is the food kosher? That's what I want to know. Oh, dear. Dave, thank you very much indeed for all your help this week. And uh, listen, as a team effort on those figures. We'll not mention them again. Our uh, amazing 53% rise in listeners in a year. Talk TV's Common Sense Weekend just got remixed. We've added twice as much Cardi P to your TV. Yes, your Sundays now come with added Peter Cardwell. Exclusive interviews, the latest news, and of course, your views. That's Peter Cardwell, every Saturday and now every Sunday, 10 till 1, on Talk TV. If you're thinking about it, we're talking about it. <laughs>